Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM GET API. In today's tutorial, we will see little more detail about the what is the GET API, what are the characteristics of GET API, that means during which condition we have to use the GET API, what are the input parameters, and what is the response we will get if you use the GET API. So let's have a detailed view on GET API. There are two classes available for the gate, gate request and gate response. Gate request will be used to send the request to Informatic MDM Hub and gate response will return actual response for the gate API. So what are the characteristics of the gate, gate API? If you are going to retry a single record, then gate API helpful. So it is used to retry a single row of data from given package data from the base pack base object also its corresponding child can be retrieved child such as history cross reference history cross reference and raw table we can also get the lineage and trust information with this gate api response the below type of data can be retrieved using the base object of a particular package we can also get the trust score and the lineage information as mentioned above. Get request can be used to retry data from x ray pending x ray deleted x ray history of x ray history table of the corresponding base object, and raw table of the corresponding base object. Let's have a detailed view on this Cyprian object type x ray that is nothing but the cross reference data. We can retry the cross reference data using the gate API. If you enable the state management, then only active records from the cross reference will be returned. Pending cross reference. The cross reference data that is in the pending state. It is valid when state management is enabled for a parent of the package. Otherwise, exception will be thrown. Deleted cross reference. Of course, it is from the cross reference for the deleted state record. And it's valid only if state management is enabled for the corresponding base object. If the state management is not enabled, if you are trying to retire the deleted cross-reference, exception will be thrown. History of cross-reference. Provided we have enabled the history for the base object, then and then only history of the cross-reference will be created and that will be returned for the all the underlying cross-reference records. History. If you enable the history for the base object, history table will be created for the corresponding base object. And the value of the previous records will be provided with this history record. Raw. Raw records associated with the specific base object. Make sure we have enabled the raw retention at least for the one of the staging table. Suppose you have the multiple staging table. You have to make sure at least one of the staging table raw retention is enabled. I can show you where you can enable the raw retention. So if you go to any particular table for example in this case we are going for the mdm sample schema we'll go for the address let's see okay there is no we can go to the party and we can check that suppose there are multiple staging table available so we have to make sure the retention is raw retention has enabled so so these are the uh, tables uh, which will be get created for the staging versus audit trail that nothing with the raw retention purpose and delta enable for the delta detection so you have to make sure either this preserve and audit trail in the raw table at least for the number of given number of loads or the given number of time span has to be enabled if you enable this property then and then raw table will be maintained so if you are going to retrieve some data from the raw so you have to make sure you have enabled the raw retention. So then what are the input parameters for the gate API? There are two types of input parameters. First is required input parameter and second is optional input parameter. Required parameters are Cyparent object UID. That nothing but the package name or the base object name or the remote package name. The second required parameters parameter is nothing but the record key. We have to set the record key. In this, we have to specify the key of the record that need to be retrieved. 
optional parameters are two effective date and history date effective date it is a date which is used to retrieve an effective period of a of the base object of course we have to enable the timeline then and then we can get this effective date if this parameter is present the result will be the result of best version of truth calculation for the specified effective period history date the history date for which the request is executed so these are the required and optional parameters here is the sample code which can be used with a get request so get request we have to just create the instance using the new operator which is java convention then again create the uh, one more instance of the record key inside the record key instance we have to set the row id one which we are going to retry we also set that record key inside the request using the set record key method and then this request also will contain the either package name or the base object name in this case we have set the package name that is pkg party and then siphon on the siphon client that is the once we got the mdm of communicate connection on to, to, on top of that we have to call the process method by passing this request this will give us the response that will be the get response so this is the sample code let's have a actual demo using eclipse development tool so this is the eclipse what needs to do done? make sure you have gone through my previous video how to create a project how to create a siphon client how to create siphon client pool these are the required thing before going to actual implementation of get response so we have here created a sample code here the class name is get siphon api we have defined global variable siphon client which is static variable in the main method what we are doing we have just initiated the siphon client we call this sif siphon client because in the sif siphon client we get the siphon client from the pool so we know the pool concept where the objects are saved or objects are stored we can use the object from that pool and once we do the some operation we can return that object to the back to the pool so here is the thing we have just initialized our siphon client we are getting the uh, object from the pool that is siphon object nothing but the connection to the mdm hub so all the logic is implemented in the common so you can re you can go through my previous video and look over that how it is implemented we will get the uh, one object from the pool and that object will be used inside our the business method here is the business method nothing but the gate customer so gate customer is a method of get generic api class and it is implemented in this class so we'll go to the get method get customer method and we'll see what it contains inside the get customer method we have the get request we are setting the record key as we have seen in the presentation and this record we are setting the row id 1709 you can use any other row id for the retrieval then that record key is set in the request if you want to set xref and the history those are the optional as i discussed so you can set that parameter also record type cross if you want a cross reference you can set true if you want history to set a true and that final request will be set such a request will be sent to the siphon client one which we just initialized in the previous method but before that we have to also set the either package name or the base object here we have set the package name that is the pkg party so this is the siphon object type package make uid and you have to pass the package uh, name the request is final so we got the, in the inside request we have the row id we have the xrf true history true and we have finally added the package name so request is having this thing that request is sent to the uh, we we are actually calling the siphon client that means we got the connection and on that connection we're calling the process method by passing this request this will return us a response that is get response once we finally get the response what we do we return we'll return all the records and use the iterate iterator from the java to retrieve each and every uh, components within within that record so we are doing the iteration on the record iterator and the record iterator will return one record from that record we are just returning the display name we can return the other names also for example if we go to the party package well, so what are the columns we can retry we will see that 
So we have the four columns, Roidy object, display name, party type, and hub study indicator. Out of these four columns, we are returning the display name. So here is the display name and we are just printing that on the console. So what are the things we are printing? First, we'll be printing whether the hub connection is successful. If the hub connection is successful, this will be printed. Once it is printed, then call will go to the gate customer and it will print generic API because this is we have printed. Then it will print uh, the Cyprian object UID. So we'll get the Cyprian object UID and then we'll print the display name. So these things will be get printed once we successfully run this class. How to run? You can run either by right clicking on this class and run run as a Java because why we are getting this run as Java because we have the main method here. So the first call will go to the main method. It will try to create a connection and on that connection we will be calling the gate customer. Once gate customer is finished at this point the gate customer will be finished in the finally method we are releasing the water the used object into the Cypern client pool. So in that we will use the connection object and will release to that pool. So let's run this class right click run as Java application. So we can see the MDM connection we saw. So MDM connection is successful. Then we can see the UID that nothing but the we have printed here. The Cypern uh, object UID for the packages this is, cross references this is and history is this. So these are the things we can retry because we have set true and then the display name is Caroline Brown Bowman. So these are the details which are successfully printed as per our business logic. So similarly you can implement and you can get your requirement satisfied. So if you use the gate API you will get only one record. Then how can you get the multiple record? So for the multiple record we have the search query that we will see in upcoming session. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this this is this will definitely help for your business implementation. If you had any question or any queries you can mention in the video below. You can subscribe my channel also by clicking this button. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time.